Okay, the first thing to do when installing soft close triggers is identify the height of the door to the underside of the sill. Uh, as you can see, we have a measurement of close to 35 millimeters of gap above the door to the underside of the uh, top track. Okay, we, we measured the distance between the uh, upper part of the door to the underside of the sill or of the uh, top track to be 35 millimeters. The height of the top guide rollers are nine millimeters. So what we're going to do is remove enough of the trigger so that it doesn't make contact with the top guide wheels. As you can see, this one fully extended is about 35, which means it would, it would almost be long enough to make contact with the door. Certainly too long uh, to not make contact with the top wheels. Uh, we're going to deduct uh, 10 millimeters from the height of this trigger so that we miss the top guide wheels and actuate on the soft close mechanism at full length. Pretty close to right in the middle of that indentation is where that needs to go. Right there. Right there. And we've got the part trimmed. Okay, now that we've cut the trigger to the proper height, it's time to set it inside the upper track. Uh, you'll want to identify what side of the door is the soft close actuator actually positioned on. Uh, they're one-sided. Uh, so as what you can see here is that the trigger is on the outer more, outermost portion of this door. So when we twist our trigger into place, we need to make sure that the trigger is on the outermost part of the upper track. So I have installed the soft close trigger. Uh, as instructed in the soft close literature. It's just a good rule of thumb to start at about uh, 200 millimeters, uh, but you'll need to make adjustments once the, uh, the door begins to function. Uh, now that we've got the trigger close to where it needs to be, uh, we're going to tighten this three millimeter set screw just so the trigger doesn't move uh, while we're functioning the door. This is our first run at using the soft close trigger. And as you can see, the door is not going all the way to the end of the uh, closet jam. So we're going to need to make an adjustment. We can measure roughly what that adjustment needs to be. It looks like about 21 millimeters more closer to the outer part of the door. We need to make that adjustment. Okay, so as you can see, we're currently set at 243 millimeters from the outer part of the closet. We need to move that down 21 millimeters to make the door come flush with the wall. Okay, now we're testing the door at the new position. And as you can see, it doesn't make contact with the wall, but it goes very, very close.